Good morning, sorry friends. This is Mitty Man coming at you again from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. Sunday morning edition. We give God all the praise, all the glory. We thank Him for life, for health, and for strength. We thank Him for as well as He did. Thank you for each and every one of you, sorry friends. You know who you are. Mitty Man coming this morning. You see my title, so you already know what time it is. Grace and grace alone. Susan Brothers, I just come to uh, share a few things because I see it. I see this happen so many times in the body of Christ. And, uh, God knows my only purpose is to try to let everybody see that it's, it's not anything great that we are doing. But it is the grace of God that allows us and gives us our strength and our being to walk this Christian journey. Um, people, when you get legalistic, and a lot of people get talking about the law, the law, the letter of the law. People, the law is the Ten Commandments. And uh, Ten Commandments, if you didn't know this, I want, I want everybody to see this. Please, ma'am, please, sir. If you didn't know this, when Moses was receiving the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai, the people were breaking them before he even got through with them. I, I, come on, amen. Listen, read the story. When God was giving Moses the Ten Commandments, the people were breaking them as he was giving them to them. They was already down at the foot of the mountain making a calf. Dancing naked and sacrificing to a bull. People, do you understand? And not only that, not only that, at Pentecost or at 50 days after Passover when they got left Egypt and they received the law, when Moses got down, he got so mad at him, he threw it down and broke it himself. People, God trying to show out us something. His standard is too high for you and it's too high for me. Let me repeat that. God's standard is too high for you and it's too high for me. God knew this all the time. Therefore, he knew that he was going to have to come himself and take on the punishment for our transgression for our sin because we would never people be able to pay for it Jesus paid the full debt because he kept the law flawlessly Jesus kept every letter of the law everything was fulfilled in Jesus and in Jesus alone this is why that if you go and see the father you go and go have to go through by the son it is not your work or my work that's going to do it so we need to stop beating each other up. Talking about what I'm doing so much more than you. See, in other words, it tells us that, it tells us that, Paul, Paul, Pastor Paul said, for we are saved by grace, and not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. In other words, can't none of us boast. But you see, we, I see in the body of Christ today, we got a lot of people that are so legalistic, they think that they are doing the word they 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 done got so now okay now they can keep them on saying it took Jesus to save them and now okay Lord since you done done that now I got it I got it now you you can just step outside I can do this you can't do nothing you need to just sit down and rest in the Lord what He had done because that's the only thing we cannot keep those Ten Commandments people let me tell you right now again you will break them just like that. Because why? you imperfect. You would never be able to do it. But we can rest in Jesus. Jesus did it all for us. All we have to do is accept the gift that he so freely gave. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That is the one that we have to rely on. He is the one that we have to depend on. And once we got that, yes, we get up. We fall down, we get up. Because his grace is sufficient. When I can't make it, when I, when, when I fall short, 
people are, well, you know, the Ten Commandments, you know, thou shalt not commit adultery. Yeah, yeah, the Bible, it said thou shalt not commit adultery. But that same law said thou shalt not steal. It said thou shalt not lie. So in other words, if you fail in one area, you don't broke them all. So you can, you know, if you don't say, you say, I ain't committed adultery. Yeah, but you're lying. So you might as well be committing adultery. Oh, I didn't lie. Yeah, but you're stealing. And before you say you don't steal, you better remind you better mind yourself what God means. Your God's standing so high. Let me tell you how high God's standing is. Remember what Jesus said? Jesus said, yeah, it, it said thou shalt not commit adultery in the law. He said, but I'll tell you this. If a man even looks upon a woman to lust at her, he's already committed adultery in his heart already. Jesus raised the bar. So don't you see we need Jesus? Because this ain't a man around. If you're a real man enough and you see a, a good looking woman, you don't, you, you, you don't tell me you're not going to take twice and look at her. Now, what people were well, me, man, I didn't lust that. Okay, well, you can tell me anything. But I'm just telling you what Jesus said. When you look at them in lust, you've committed adultery. So, in other words, it's about being that high. Everyone, we, we all got some stuff, y'all. We all got some flaws. And like I said, before Moses even got the, before God got through giving the law, they was already breaking it. We are the same way. People, we cannot keep it. So therefore, we don't have any license to be beating up other folk, talking about trying to judge other people. You just walk the road to glory yourself. For God is the judge. God is the judge of all. So in other words, we're going to leave the judge to God. And for us, we just going to walk in the footsteps of Christ. And so when I fall, when I make a mess, Jesus just going to, and I confess, Jesus going to pick me up, clean me off. Come, come on, come on, I paid for it. He's already ever making, making intercession for us at the throne of, our, of God. People, he's always doing that. He has to do that because we all, we are a fault of nature. We are faulted. We are faulted, 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 and we are never going to be 100% right until he comes and changes us all. Then we'll be able. So until then, people, let us stop worrying about and trying to keep a score of how much we are doing. You need to throw your book away. Because, I, I mean, I used to keep a book like that. But I was afraid that I had more on my book than God had on his. We need to throw that book away because there's nothing that you can do. We are all sinful. And come short of the glory of God. But Jesus did it all. You don't you can rest, rest, rest in Jesus. Rest in Jesus. Knowing that you are sinful by nature. He knows that. That's why he came and died. So just live one day at a time and stop trying to keep the letter of the law. You're not you're gonna you're gonna wear yourself out, people. I'm telling you. You're gonna wear yourself out because you cannot do it. But all things is in Christ. Christ did it all. He paid it all. And so from now all we have to do is rest in Jesus. As the Apostle Paul told us to. We, we, we are saved by grace. Now we walk and take up our cross daily. Sometimes we get hit, we get knocked down. That's okay. We get back up. Jesus got it. But when you get to thinking that you're going to do something, you don't need Jesus. You just messed up. We just said this middle man said whatever we get what we get into. If God is not in it, it's best that you come out of it. Because it's gonna come to nothing. This is middle man said if you're going out to the house of prayer today, make sure you hear from God and not just man only. Because remember, man fool you, man will deceive you. But God will never fail. This is middle man saying peace. Good day.